Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So this is going to be another video of me showing you guys how archaeology just changed the game once again. We all know how pickpocketing works in the game. Very click intensive, annoying, repetitive, a lot of people do not like it. Which before I get into this video even more, this is a disclaimer that it's not a guide. This video is not a guide on thieving. This is not me telling you that pickpocketing is the best way to train thieving this video is honestly just for fun now this relic power is called sticky fingers in order to obtain it you're going to need to be level 84 archaeology or if you really want this relic power and you're a madman you can do it at 82 use the cup of soil boost because it gives you a two level boost keep hammering away at the excavation site and drinking your cup of tea boosts and then eventually you'll get it but you're crazy so just wait to 84 or 82 whatever you want to do the reason you need to be level 84 archaeology to obtain this relic power is because you need to restore an artifact called the dominarian device which is located over in everlight once you restore the device you take it over to reldo he's in the barrack palace library all the way in the back corner give it to him he will then give you a relic you then take this relic back to the monolith Offer to the monolith, you'll get the power, sticky fingers, which will cost you 100 monolith energy and 2,000 chronotes. That's it. Congratulations, you now have sticky fingers. You can automatically pickpocket any and every NPC in Gilanor, and it honestly, in a way, makes thieving more AFKable in the sense that you don't have to constantly be clicking. I am by no means saying this is the greatest relic ever, but at the same time, it is a relic that has changed thieving and pickpocketing as a whole. Pickpocketing is very click intensive. It turns a lot of people away. There are some that do like it, and for some it may benefit, like Iron Man. There are certain things you can get from pickpocketing. You don't have to buy from general stores or get from drops from an enemy. If you're a hardcore Iron Man, it's a safer way to obtain items because you don't have to necessarily go out of your way to kill certain creatures for it. Um, it's good for a lot of low level players because that's where you benefit from the most again If you're like level 90 plus thieving and you have plagues and unlocked Then you already have kind of automatic thieving in a sense because those workers you can automatically thief off of them But for a lot of people that don't have Prif unlocked and they're lower levels and they don't like thieving But they don't mind training archaeology because archaeology is pretty afk to 84 Also, I know a ton of people that do not like questing and there are some quest requirements for efficient thieving Training methods like Plague's End, like I mentioned earlier, you have the giant dwarf, ape, Adel, uh, all the fairy tale ring quests. And you got a method in Wilderness where you're safe cracking and you can get PK'd out there. So again, I mean, I'm trying to list alternatives as to why people may want to try out automatic pickpocketing. The reasons could be as simple as you're bored and you want a different atmosphere, you want to try something different, you want to train it differently, all the way to you want to AFK it, but also get certain items for your Iron Man as you're AFKing, going for 120, whatever you're doing. I'm sure there is a way or reason as to why this may be useful. Again, this is not a guide. This is not me telling you how to train thieving. This is me showing you a relic because I thought it was interesting enough to share because thieving can be a pain in the butt and with this relic and training archaeology to 84, which is not the worst, uh, you can automatically pickpocket your NPCs. You don't have to wait till plagues in. You don't have to wait till you're level 90 plus. It's very convenient in that sense, and I feel like it was worth sharing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are staying safe out there, staying hydrated. Now I'll catch you next time.